What's up guys? Today I was supposed to, um, well, supposed to shoot a bunch of car video. I was supposed to do a whole commercial just, you know, on a pretty decent car. <laughs> uh, one of the new Infiniti Q60s, but we're not doing that today because as you can see, it is raining outside and I'm not going to shoot a car commercial in the rain. So what we are going to do, however, is we are going to... We are going to shoot a commercial for some random drink that I found um, at Sprouts the other day. And we're gonna shoot a low budget commercial. I'm just gonna grab stuff from around the house and we're gonna figure out exactly what we're gonna do and what we're gonna use. And then we're gonna sh shoot a bomb, super awesome, super fresh commercial. See you guys in a second. So for our commercial, we will obviously be using the drink, some saran wrap, a spinny thing that I got at a garage sale, a light that is very smudged. Well, I guess the light isn't smudged, but whatever. A vintage Nikon 60 millimeter AF Micro F2.8. A spray bottle filled with water a smaller light. We also have a few things that I have strategically transferred to an alternate location, which is here from both my son, some cardstock, and from my wife's salon. This really fancy glass with the wooden bamboo top. And that's all we got. We, we're gonna see what we can make work with this. Oh, I almost completely forgot to mention, we're gonna be using the Amazon box and some tape as well. Okay, so first things first, we need to figure out the theme of what we're gonna do here. So, of course we got the drink, we got the card stock, but what's the feel, what's the vibe? I'm thinking because this thing has juicy, on the label, we'll do something along that lines. We'll we'll try to try to get that feel in what we shoot here, and then we'll do some stuff in the edit too. We are going to get this tape and the backdrop cardstock construction paper that I picked, and we're going to tape it to our Amazon box, so we have a nice clean background behind our cam. Okay, so I'm thinking the first shot that we do is gonna be the spinning can with our solid background. We have our solid background and our spinning can. Got it framed up nicely on our camera here. We're just letting it run. All right, so we're gonna get this in 24 frames a second just for the first go. And we're just gonna let it rotate for a while. So we have a decent amount of footage for this. All right, so now that we have the spinning shots done, both slow-mo, 24 frames a second, I wanna get some very, very, very tight shots with the macro lenses of just details on the can, whether it's the front label or those little cards down the side or anything like that. That's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna get detailed shots, many of which are probably going to be handheld. shots now we get to get the shot of actually pouring the damn thing into the glass which let's hope we don't screw it up because I gotta open a new one I haven't even tried these yet let's see what they taste like that's damned good we're gonna get the pour and then I'm gonna get 
a really tight shot of the, like the tippity top of the pour from the side. You know, just get like some, uh, get the, the flowing into the glass macro. We're gonna get that. I don't know if I'm gonna use it or not. And then I wanna get the almost complete drink full and then sticking the lid and the little straw in there. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna grab is kinda like a slow pull out shot for just the glass with the drink in it and the actual can. And then we'll hop on to the edit. All right, guys, it is time to go to the edit. And I'm also gonna show you guys a little something, something that can spruce up what you got if you don't have all the stuff you need. So let's go to the office. Okay, so I actually checked out their website for this drink right here. It's called Alani New. Alani New? Not exactly sure what the brand is all about, but we're gonna check their website. And, um, well, I guess I already checked their website and they don't have any video. They got some photos and stuff like that, but they have like no video whatsoever on their website. So maybe we should tag them, you know, see if they like our video. Oh, and uh, here's a peek at their website. They, um, like I said, they got a lot of, you know, product photography and all that stuff here. But they have absolutely no video at all. I guess we can check their Instagram. Let's check their Instagram. And it looks like it's just all photos, moving photos. Yeah. Let's see if we can try to, let's see if we can try to, see if we can try to match their, uh, match their branding a little bit. See what we can do here, guys. Let's see. So this is the little secret sauce I was talking about. It's called Motion Array, and they have a bunch of different things here. Um, you know, you have presets for your different editing softwares. They got royalty-free music and sound effects, um, and they also have videos. So what I did is I made myself a little collection of different videos that I might want to use in here. Um, and it's not super expensive either. Yeah, it's not super expensive either. They have, you know, a bunch of different things. I do the monthly plan, but they have a couple of different prices and different setups here. And they're, I feel like 30 bucks a month for me making a decent amount of videos is, is a pretty okay amount of money to spend. Okay, so with all of that said and done, I'm gonna hop into the edit in DaVinci Resolve and I'll see you guys in a minute. All right guys, so I have completed the edit. If you guys want a tutorial on how I edit different uh, types of commercials, we could definitely do that. Um, and I would love some suggestions on what we should do next. What kind of product, if we wanna do, uh, you know, maybe one of my watches or something like that, we can definitely come up with something to do another commercial on and edit that up. I guess now all that's left to do is to show you the finished product and see how we like it. That's all for the video today, guys. We were supposed to hit the road and do an Infinity commercial, but we're probably gonna have to do that next week. Hopefully it doesn't rain. Um, but yeah, I think we did a good job. 
especially with all the limiting factors, no budget, no extras. Uh, if the video was helpful to you, you know, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of me. And share it with your bros. Share it with your bros. I'm going to get out of here, though. See you next week.